Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Amazing Spider-Man issue number 53. Holy crap. For a mostly redone comic book? Holy crap. I'm gonna... Oh my god! I don't know that there's anything to spoil in here, because we've kind of sort of read this before, but this has a darker twist to it. Guys, let me read to you one more day. Redux. Let's get talking about this comic book. Oh my God. Uh, first credit where credit's due. This is The Amazing Spider-Man Last Remains, Part 4. Nick Spencer is the writer, Mark Bagley on pencils. Uh, John Dell on inks. Edgar, Edgar Delgado doing the colors and VCs Joe Caramagna on letters. Patrick Gleason and Edgar Delgado do the cover art. There's a variant cover out there by uh, Ramos and Delgado. And uh, Anthony Gambino on design. Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Spider-Man, baby. So literally, this is almost word for word and image for image last day uh or excuse me brand new day you remember at the very end after it was revealed oh this was actually your daughter i'm taking her and boom here you go bang i, I took you taking your marriage and then peter wakes up well peter's sleeping form is over here in this nice comfortable bed and there's thunder and lightning and and uh harry is there this is harry I'm positive this is Harry right now, because there was the potential for a twist, but uh, it's Harry. Um, I think I'm going to have to get into spoilers with this. All right, so yeah, just just a heads up. I'll let you know when I get to the end of the comic book. It's a, it's, it's a spoiler, but it's not really a spoiler, but you'll have to decide if you actually want. If you read this book before, you don't have a problem with this. If you didn't, guys, read the damn book. Oh my God, buy this book and read this book. It's amazing. Um, Peter comes downstairs, uh, you know, in his dream as, as you know, Harry ha ha slash Kindred is standing over top of him. Comes downstairs. Uh, Good morning, Tiger. You overslept. Or are you going to be late to the party? Oh, yeah, you're going to be late to the party. Or you're going to the party. And he's walking in. And even down to the song that's being played. Uh, just kicking around the cobblestones. Do, 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 feeling groovy. That's Simon and Garfunkel. You may think that's old and that's a dumb name if you're, you know, really young and you never heard of them before. Simon and Garfunkel, feeling groovy. Listen to the song. Listen to the whole song. Tell me if at the end of it you're not just like, okay, that's a really happy song. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, so all of this stuff happens, but there's you see a couple of green shadows, and they're green shadows. They're kind of leaning over top of people's faces when they say certain things. But everything here pretty much happens, all the way from Mary Jane leaving the party, and it's just, eh. You know, saying something's wrong. Something's wrong. And we get to the part where he says, he says, uh, speak of the devil, and then what's supposed to happen next? Because Harry actually uh, reads that line in here. Oh, come on. You, what, what does he say? What was that you said next, Peter? Because Peter says, um, Harry, no. And he's like, uh, what, was, what was it that you said next then, buddy? What was it that you said next? If you remember that from the original, he said, speak of the devil, then he appears. Which was weird because in the original uh, Brand New Day, the, the devil is the one that did all of this stuff. And here's this, this rehash of the entire story. And then, boom. Then you got this. It's like, what did you say next, buddy? He said, speak of the devil, and he appears. And he starts pulling off the kindred mask. And I swear to... Here's where I get into the spoilers, guys. The, the, the only real spoiler for this book. I swear to God, the entire time I'm expecting that... He's going to pull off the mask, and it's actually going to be Mephisto. I'd have been like, yes! <laughs> I would have flipped out, but no, it's actually Harry. And that's why he says, gotcha, because it's just Harry. <laughs> oh, my God, Nick Spencer, you absolute legend, you. This was Freaking amazing! Oh my god, I love this book so much. This this retelling of the story because to me, just to me, what is this gonna do now? When we finished with um uh the end of of Brand New Day, what happened? We had one day more, one more day, whatever they called it, where they didn't really continue with that. It's like Harry's back, but yeah, no, not really. <laughs> What what happened to that party? What happened with all of that stuff? 
what if now all of this just becomes part of the dream or the continuation of what was supposed to actually happen with that? What if we actually get the continuation of this? Oh my God, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm saying. Wow. Now, also what's important to remember in this comic book, or, or to, to recognize in this comic book, that there's actually two Peter Parkers. There's the nice sleeping, dreaming one, and then there's his actual body, which is dead. Like, remember, he, he broke his neck. I, I wanted to say that so bad in the previous review. I'm like, oh my god, he broke his neck! <laughs> he, 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 he pretty much gave him a version of Gwen Stacy's death. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I am loving this. I'm loving this. He brings it back in. There's all the mmm. For like I said, man, for a book that is mostly just a retelling of another story that most of us didn't like. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what's about to happen next. Yo, this team on here, Spencer and Bagley, these guys. Oh my God, the storytelling in this is top shelf. Like, even me, tippy toes on a freaking step stool to try and even brush your fingers against how great this story is. I am loving what I'm reading here. How do you just pretty much reprint a comic book but put a couple of green shadows <laughs> over things representing the Green Goblin, right? Which has always been over uh, overshadowing Harry's life in one way or another. Mm, because... What's one of the things that I'd said so many times about this Amazing Spider-Man run from Spencer? It's the Amazing Spider-Man, and he's definitely in the stories, but this is mostly about his other friends and whatnot. And now when we're getting so deep into the trenches of a, an Amazing Spider-Man story, we're realizing that even this story here is actually Harry's story. Spencer remains consistent. All throughout this series. All 51 issues plus what he's doing with the Last Remains stories. Yo. This is out of control. I, I've said it before. Here it comes again. Marvel definitely recognizes what they have in Spencer. Again, even... And unfortunately, the that Captain America story... Uh, that's, that's always going to remain a shadow over his head. And I hope that he comes back to retell that story one of these days you know what i'm saying to to do a proper ending for that one and actually fix what was done in there because i don't want captain america's history to be one of evil and he had to be reborn to be good no 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 cap has overcome way too much throughout his long and storied career you know what i'm saying for a regular guy with a super soldier serum to have overcome all that he's overcome cosmic level stuff nah i don't i don't want to see uh the, the the history of cap actually be that history uh but this 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 is doing credit in my opinion to everything that j michael uh, uh straczynski has done and mm, mm, what a great homage to the best of his stories and even some of these stories that you know the joke is sada push i know there's a lot of people who don't like one more day, but I personally don't have, I don't have too much of a problem with it. I actually enjoyed what they did with it. If you got to do more stuff with Spider-Man, fine, so be it. One of these days, there's going to be a podcast coming out. I'm going to be putting out a podcast pretty soon with uh, two other really great content creators. I can't wait for you guys to get a hold of that, but I'm trying to get a, a pool of these things first, right? I don't want to just put one out and every week we're rushing to do this. This is going to be one of those evergreen kind of podcasts that you can listen to at any time. They're not dated. You know, it's not like, oh, this is what happened this week in comics. No, no, no. These, this is not going to be dated. But one of the ones that I've done or that we've, excuse me, that we've done when we're ready to put it out, it's going to be um, about Spider-Man. and. We just did that one yesterday. From the time that I'm filming this on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, we actually did this yesterday, Monday. So I didn't even come across this story yet. And we talked about one more day. So it's just very coincident. I just want like you guys who, who listen to the reviews will know something that the people who only listen to that podcast won't know. Bang. <laughs> This is impressive, dude. I'm loving the story, and I really hope that Marvel pays attention to what they've got in this team. Holy crap. 
Give them whatever the hell they want. What don't ever tell Spencer, I need you to write this. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You you talk to Spencer this way. Sir, what would you like to write next? And then the following answer must be yes. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm out. Like the video, watch an ad. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.